Oh wow, that looks so early, you know? You're up early for a change, Jim. Does this look like a man who got any sleep at all last night? I think not. Jamie's blog. May as well. Good morning to everyone. It is a very dark day here in my freaking New York where I am just... Oh, my body would not let me sleep at all. And I'm like, what on earth is going on? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So I mean, I'm just listening to music most of the night as well, trying to see if that would help me go to sleep. No, it did not. My body feels more awake than anything. So I don't know. I may do some editing now and see what I can do. Plus, as well, sort some stuff out ready for hopefully this morning if I'm still awake to get some voice acted like it. Let's see, shall we? Now face severe scrutiny. Karen Jenkins with that it's funny as well because um, this is talking about a secret call center that was taking place in that building you saw right there for the Conservative Party days before the election over in the UK for the snap election. I shit you not, you know, yeah, it's in a report. That was in Neath. That there was a secretive call centre trying to urge people to vote for the Conservatives in Neath, that building there. I passed that every single freaking time I was going to college, whenever I get a subway there, you know, anything like that whatsoever. And, funny enough, I had a job interview there once before, but luckily it wasn't for something like that, but still, to hear the news, like, they were hiring people because there's no jobs going around. And for them to be paid to say something like that without them knowing to begin with, that is... <sighs> that is absolutely and downright, I will say, it's bloody disgusting. I'm appalled on what has happened and that is just disgusting to see. You know, it's nice to see, you know, you're supposed to have that First Amendment freedom of speech over here in America, that type of thing. Most probably they get that over in, you know, the UK stuff as well. But to be honest, to have something like that happen, not only with the public people when they registered to opt out of any funny phone calls or anything like that, you know, from telemarketers in which they still get it from, but also as well to find out there was a secret call centre within Neath run by the Conservatives, make, you know, phoning, you know, I wanted phone calls to people to say, oh, you should vote for Conservatives, then here is why. Oh. It kind of makes me a bit ashamed to say that I'm from Neath after that. One more reason. One more bloody reason. Bloody disgusting. It's, it's a fucking disgrace. So, oh, a good couple of hours later, I uh, kind of dozed off on the sofa. Basically, my insomnia just kind of went boop, hit the wall, and <laughs> fell on the sofa. Well, crashed on the sofa. But I've been sorting out a couple of things. Back in work where I'm just sitting and relaxing. But uh, sorting out a couple of things, including getting back to voice acting a little bit more. And i got to print off the script and stuff and get chess plates up and going again. Well, continue with Chester Blades anyway, because I need to get those lines in quickly. But apart from that, honestly, it's just been a quiet day. My Monday has been absolutely quiet. It's just been folding towels, towels, and more towels. While saying that, you're low on battery. I think it's slowly coming to terms that I may need to change the camera, guys. Just saying. Alright, so a couple of hours later, Chris is doing a bit of storm blood. And I'm going to do a bit of snoozing, because it is quite late. So, thanks guys for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed, and if you have, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking day, and hopefully it will be a little bit better than the rest. So until then, take it easy guys. I'll stop.